What's up, Migo fans? What's up, Shazam fans, Captain Marvel fans? Guys, we have another cool installment today from MIB Master Museum. Guys, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Shazam Jr. That's right, Shazam Jr. Let's get you close up. This is a figures toy company exclusive. This is not an original Mego, although it should have been to go along with the original vintage Shazam figure. Super cool. How cool is that? The head sculpts, once again, whoever's doing the head sculpts for Figures Toy Company, like I said, they're doing a phenomenal, a phenomenal job. Uh, this is just a beautiful figure, beautifully done. Can't see it, but he's got some wiring in the the cape, so you can kind of fluctuate. I'll never use mine. He's for museum purposes, <laughs> but just a cool figure. Give you a little background on Shazam Jr. His real name, before he came, became Shazam Jr. is. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And Freddie Freeman was crippled and had a bad leg. So we'll just get into the quick the, 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 the quick of it. He derived his powers from Shazam himself. Shazam actually took uh, Freddie Freeman to the gods that transformed him, or I should say the god that tr transformed him into Shazam, and basically wanted to see if he could do the same for Freddie Freeman, and he was told that he couldn't, but that Shazam, Captain Marvel himself, had the power to save Freddie Freeman and, and cure him and help him. Because whatever was ailing and crippling him was also, you, you know, in a sense, it was terminal. So Freddie Freeman didn't have very long. So Shazam did this and transformed some of his powers into Freddie Freeman, thereby causing Freddie Freeman, just with the name, using the name Shazam, to basically turn into Shazam Jr. And that's, that's the skinny of it. Now his history, Shazam Jr. didn't just pop out of nowhere. Um, this character has been around for a very long time almost as long as Shazam himself so he was created by Ed Heron and Mac Raboy his first appearance was in Wiz Comics issue number 25 December of 1941 1941 so Shazam Jr. has some age to him. And any any true Shazam and Captain Marvel fan, you know, will we'll know a lot about the history of the, the Shazam family. And we'll be covering uh, more of the Shazam family. Watch out for uh, Mary Marvel. Uh, she'll be uh, doing a, a guest appearance with us down the road here at MIB Master Museum. And we'll be doing a, uh, a review on her. But right now, this is Shazam Jr.'s show. Let's turn the box around a little bit. Get you a... And as you can see, 
beautiful card art here on the back and here's the entire family there's Dr. Savania there's Mary Marvel herself Captain Marvel Shazam Shazam Jr. Uh, quick uh, trivia Captain Marvel uh, name was already taken by uh, a few Marvel Comics characters and to kind of avoid a lot of legal issues this is why the name Shazam was used and has stuck uh, with this particular character uh, they didn't want to bump heads with Marvel Comics and uh, their Captain Marvel and their Miss Marvel and you know all of that so they, they kind of got away from that and altered things just a tad bit and I think Shazam is uh, I call him Shazam I, I rarely call him Captain Marvel although in that that the, the uh, mid 1970s uh, live TV show you know you'll hear uh, some of the, the uh, bad guys call him Captain Captain Marvel let's get down here this is a, a 2014 figure release from figures toy company they're just doing it all they're just doing it all phenomenal it's turning back around just beautifully made let's get you a little closer on the uh, head sculpt here it's just high quality I always loved the um, the band that held the um, the cape together I mean they went it was exaggerated I mean it was large it was like a big rope and I always thought that was kind of cool when I was a kid. I mean, I, I, I try to make a cape like that. And I wanted my cape to look like uh, like Shazam's cape. You know, that big rope holding the cape together. So they just, they didn't miss anything on this figure. Now the cool part about Shazam Jr. is that when, when he calls the name Shazam, shouts the name Shazam, he stays... In his teenage form and when he returns to his human form he still walks with a limp he still has to use a cane or a crutch to walk so he still walks with a limp why he simply can't get that up take care of that I don't know I mean uh, but there was a a, a TV series cartoon series of the Shazam family in 1981 and uh, it's a cool series you can uh, check them out on uh, YouTube as a matter of fact you can check them right out here on MIB Master Museum because we'll be carrying a few of those uh, cartoons on our playlist our Saturday morning playlist that we'll be uh, getting out to you guys uh, very shortly so you'll be able to check some of those cartoons out. Really cool cartoon. Especially growing up, it was really fun to watch as a kid. Now, you know, at MIB Master Museum, we don't do anything halfway. We do it all the way. You know, we go above and beyond the Call of Duty. <laughs> so, there was a variant to the uh, Shazam Jr. Uh, this price point right here had him right at $26. Now the variant that came out was a little bit more. Uh, I believe it was like $29. Uh, 36 shipping and handling. This was like 34 shipping and handling. So um, these are expensive figures. They are expensive. Uh, but you get what you pay for. And you're getting a lot um, by way of... Uh, just looking at this this figures crafted beautifully just beautiful beautiful figure let's get you a, a zoom out shot of our star of the show but I say we uh, we had another visitor let's bring the gentleman in let's bring him in guys
Guys, this is Shazam Jr. The gold and blue variant from DC Comics. And let's go in here. Head sculpt. Cape. More of a bronze. A, more of a bronze color in color. The cape is beautifully done. It's red, silk red. Everything is done in a bronze, goldish type of a color, even to the belt, the shoes. And this is a variant, limited edition, limited edition variant. And this guy right here will set you back about $36. He's the variant version of Shazam Jr. Once, uh, me being a collector, once I saw this guy and later saw that they had a variant out, there was no way I couldn't pick this guy up. I had to get this guy. This guy looks very cool. Very cool. Phenomenal. Uh, figure figures toy company is just like I said they're they are changing the game um, and with their licensing licensing uh, of products and and they're getting more licensing uh, rights uh, license rights and all that they're 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 changing the game they're pushing the envelope they're they're just going to another level they're taking the Mego like retro figures game the figure game, action figure game, to a whole new level. So it's a fun time to be a Mego collector. It's a fun time to be an action figure collector because with Figures Toy Company, what they're doing is they're just um, they're expanding and broadening our horizon on what Mego was, what it is, and what it has the capability to be. And these two figures are, let's get them in. Well, I like them a little closer side by side. These two figures are just an example of Figures Toy Company's massive, uh, just their think tank, their ingenuity, and, and what they're willing to, to, to do to change the game. They're giving us what we wish we had as Mego collectors growing up in the 70s and late or early 80s uh, more of. You know, I would have loved to see these more of these characters uh, when I was a kid, you know, growing up in the, in the 70s. So just a cool time to be a Mego collector. We wanted to give Shazam Jr. some love, bring him out of the, uh, you know, the archives and... Uh, I wanted to do this review a while ago, but because, you know, we have so many awesome figures here at MIB Master Museum, everybody has to get a turn. So basically this, the, this uh, figure set just got kind of pushed back a little bit and that'll, that'll happen, like I said, because I have about, I have well over a hundred Mego figures. So it's just a matter of, you know, picking one that, because we're trying to, we're, we're trying to satisfy the public. This channel was created to share the wealth with the, with the public. You know, it's, it's, it's driven by the public demand. And that's what we want to do. So we want to just thank all our subscribers. Please, uh, if you haven't su subscribed to our channel, by all means do like and subscribe you'll be notified on anything that's coming down the pipeline from MIB Master Museum videos give it we're going to be doing some probably some giveaways in the late uh, late to near future we'll be looking at that maybe around our 30th or 40th subscriber we'll be doing some things um, trying to put some stuff in the works uh, we'll be doing more shout outs uh, to our subscribers so but by, by all means subscribe and with that being said God bless thank you again for sharing this time with us 
and Shazam Jr. And as always, keep collecting.